Okay. All yeah. right, ready? You're one of the only people that I've never, Can like, I feel are like. Are we a, not rolling? No. Yeah, we are rolling. No, we're not. <laughs> I pressed record. <laughs> I, we're rolling for the podcast, but the chat's still waiting. Well, that's your problem. <laughs> you this have an is intro going on the, song. This is going on the podcast. This is going on the podcast. You have an intro song. Yeah, yet. I know, but I haven't told her yet. The smoke machine. Are you okay with the smoke machine? Sure. I cannot do it. It's, I don't want the baby to come out too big, so let's start it up. And there's lasers. <laughs> Great. All right. And I'm going to sing. Can't wait. I don't believe you. I feel like you're not interested, but you wait. You'll see. Power. All right. <laughs> Power it up. Three, two. My balls is totally blue. Welcome to the show, Whitney Cummings. Do you have a name for your baby? I don't yet. Well, then welcome to the show, Whitney Cummings, and this almost alive guy. Do you have any pitches for me? My, like, t Cummings is a tough pairing. Right, like load I, Cummings. I dead serious, my number one name was Maximus. Maximus Cummings. Can't do it. No, you can't. It's child abuse. Yep. Yeah, kind of yeah. narrows the career options. Mm -hmm. It would make him tough, though. <laughs> He'd be tougher. He'd be a comedian. Because he'd heard it. He'd, he would have heard it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Most things don't go with Cummings, so I'm not sure what to do. Bruce Cummings. I actually Cummings. love the name Miles. I love the name Miles. Miles Cummings doesn't go together. Oh, yeah. Sh that's terrible. Yeah. Miles have come. Yeah. It's weird <laughs> that you keep forgetting who you are. I know. Yeah. I've sort of disassociated and found a way to forget that my every time I see my last name on something, I'm like, oh, God. Like, I just. That poor person. It's traumatic. What about an animal? I do have an animal name. What is it? I can't. I'm not telling. Well, I'm not going to rip it off. Not, I don't want another one. I know. I just, I feel weird. I feel like I'm going to get a lot of feedback. So, I, my son's name's Tiger and everyone can suck my I ass. I love lo Tiger. I lo Shab has a tiger, I think. <laughs> I knew that would piss you off. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Sorry. Yeah, when are we going to get that idea for? <laughs> Jesus. I feel like you're in a grumpy mood. And it's I'm not fault. in a grumpy mood. Okay. I'm fine. Okay. I've done a lot of shows. <laughs> <laughs> that was not convincing, was it? Yeah. <laughs> I've done a lot of shows today, and I'm also I've, I'm stopping doing stuff okay. that I did. And what kind of stuff? Trying to relax myself stuff. Okay, got it, got I'm it. not doing stuff anymore. Yeah, withdrawals. So, got it. Yeah, a little edgy probably. I get it. But I'm on a mission, so this is great. Mm -hmm. Come on. How many know? days are we off the stuff? None. None? Yeah. I just, <laughs> That's the first I just day. Did, yeah, I just did half. <laughs> well, not even half. Maybe way less than half, but whatever. I, what are, I'd be three times deep okay. than what I am right now. Okay. It's, yeah. So what the problem is that you're almost sober. Yeah. That's the big problem today. Yeah. Got it. But you have to make it sound so bad. You know, so if you want to do it, guys, don't listen to these people. Just do it. Oh, you're only halfway home. Yeah, yeah, I'm halfway through. I'm not even sober, and I'm already struck. Yeah, I don't like it. Because my problem today is I'm thinking clearly. <laughs> it's freaking me out, Whitney. I know, it's a nightmare, and yeah. I don't recommend it. Yeah. I know, right? I'm like, oh, yeah. no, what have I got into? Yeah, I stopped smoking weed in January, uh, thank God, before getting pregnant, but it's... Um, Wait, you stopped before you got pregnant? I stopped. Well, let's just, yeah. Yeah. Okay. There was no overlap whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> um, at all, judge yeah. and jury. Um, let's just see, make sure I keep custody of this little um, You'll be right. guy. But, uh, but yeah, I, I got to say, I, I miss it a lot. Yeah. I miss it a lot. Yeah, I'm going to. 
Yeah. I was doing, were you doing the mushrooms? The microdosing the mushrooms? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I did a little bit more than microdosing. <laughs> I can't really That's do a little bit of anything. Yeah. That's kind of like been my... One too many, a million, I get older enough. and wiser and I can stop it to the point where I can get away with it. Yep. And getting away with it is... You know, like I did a 540 the other day. I was on both. I was What's on a 540? I was on, it's a skateboard trick that nobody oh. at my age can do. Whoa. And I it's did what, it. Because you don't feel any pain. <laughs> no, no, you, you do. It's like you hit the ground. Oh, yeah. I wonder if that helps. Because <laughs> no, I, I did hit the ground several no times. no one does it on Kratom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I, honestly, to be to be honest, I do not think that it helped. I think it made it way harder because I remember thinking, I can't see as good, mm. but you're going to make it anyway. Yeah. And I'm like, if you can do that, that's the thing. I do stuff and I go, why do I need to Quit. stop using it? Yeah. I can do, there's nobody my age that's done that ever. Mm -hmm. So I'm on fire. I'm not like un, like a mediocre. I'm on fire. But I don't mean to split hairs, but like, be better. do you think that the part of the having your inhibitions be numbed helps with the like confidence of thinking you can do it? No. Also, no. No, because when I clear my head, that's all that's left is that confident person. Mm. The more I take this other stuff, the more I doubt myself. Okay, so you did that really hard trick in spite of doubting yourself oh, even yeah. more. Yeah. All right. So. Yeah, I was definitely saying you're never going to make it. That's why when I made it, I cried because I didn't think it was ever going to happen again. Whoa. But so. And I was real sad about it. But the smoking <laughs> weed in the Kratom was actually an obstacle to making it. Hell yeah. So what was the trick? A backslide 540. So could you have done a backslide 840 if you were sober? <laughs> well, no, but I think that I could probably do backslide 540s all the time if I was sober. Ah, oh, got it. Instead of one time ever in my life. Hmm. And we could probably start doing them at demos and I'd probably feel pretty cool about that. Oh, cool. So, but and that makes me think if you could do that a little bit better, you could do everything a little bit better. But like I said, I get away with it, you know? Mm -hmm. I, go, I like to get real high before I go on stage because I just blank out and I don't mm -hmm. know what I'm going to say. And so far, that works. But if I had to recollect all of them, no. Yeah. They didn't all work. Yeah. Sometimes I went up and went, I'm high, <laughs> and I made a joke about how dumb I am. And people were like, I guess I'll laugh at that. Like, I don't think it was like a brilliant joke. It was more like, you ever just be dumb for a living? Like, I don't know how, you know. It wasn't but you're, really. you're probably in the moment. And a lot of being on stage is about being in the moment. Like right. a comic who's in the moment, who's like jokes are fine, is going to do better. Your cat's also a midget in addition to being bald. I yeah. just noticed that. Yeah, he's a killer combo. <laughs> he's a bambino. <laughs> oh my a hairless God. bambino. That is so wild. It's Rumble being the great. Someone who's uh, maybe material isn't like, you know, written very well, who's in the moment, is going to be more entertaining to watch than someone who has great writing, mm -hmm. who's like not in the moment. Yeah. Or, you know. I think that's all I'm running on. Mm. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna try it. At least try it. You know, if mm -hmm. it turns out to be ten times worse, and boy, do I regret that. Then whatever. Okay. It's not gonna it's not gonna ruin anything. I would assume. All right. Well, you seem like you're in a good place. <laughs> I just let let that sit there for a second. I think as a general rule of thumb, I, I I've been around long enough to know like, if we'll you start see. if you start asking yourself because I know we all have our days where we're you you can still pull it off. If you ask yourself too many times. Should I see a therapist? That in and of itself is probably proof. Yeah, you probably should see a therapist. You know, if yeah. you say to yourself enough times, and we've all been there, mm. maybe I should cut back on this. Yeah, there's your answer. But I'm with. I relate. I know that. I know what you're saying. If I can get away with it, and what we do for a living, you can not only get away with it, you can get rewarded for it. So like mm. during the pandemic, yep. I was like doing edibles and smoking weed, and people were like, "Look, she's so crazy. She her hair is blue." It's it's like. I was getting so much positive feedback yeah. for being kind of a mess and being kind of all over the place. And so it was really hard to quit too. Cause I'm I, like, I'm so much more boring now, but I, okay. I will say the surprise for me, cause I posted something about it today is there's like a lot of people that are no one's not one person's that said, just smoke weed, you pussy. Everyone was like, good for you. Like I got a lot of support from it. Like I, I, a lot more than I thought I would. And I wasn't doing it for support. Mm. I was ratting myself out. So that I stick to my guns on it. California weed's also a different animal. Yeah. It, it's not a game. Yeah, because I feel like it's way different to stop now. Mm -hmm. Like when you used to stop, it was like, man. It's like, but when you stop now, you're like, man, I feel like I'm a different temperature. Like I'm not right. I'm not mm -hmm. hungry. Like I'm not right. Mm -hmm. Like I've got to go through a bunch of crap for this. 
to get on the other side and be like, okay, now I'm not in hell. Yeah. And I'm not high. Now go do stuff. But, yeah. But, but for a couple of weeks, it's just going to be like, eh. And you know what else? There's kind of this thing you can't do when you're like not smoking a lot of weed where if something doesn't go well, you can't be like, oh, I was high. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? There's yeah. a little bit of that. Like if a podcast didn't go well, you're like, hey, I was a little, it's a little bit of an out if, thing, yeah. if you're a perfectionist or your self-esteem takes a hit if you don't do well at something. Like if you hadn't landed that trick, you'd be like, well, I was high. Yeah. Yeah, I've done that in my career back when I was pro. If I didn't win, I'd be like, whatever. I was the highest person in the contest. I placed the highest out of all the high people for sure. <laughs> <laughs> if you add up anyone who was high in the contest, I won. <laughs> hey, Tully, I need to stop this show for an important announcement. Yeah. I have a phone case and charger from Nomad Goods. Uh, we're happy to have them sponsoring the show because we both use Nomad Goods. You see this? This rugged, weathered. This is the Sam Elliott's face of of phone cases. I got a black case because I'm like John Wick and look, I got a black pen that yeah. they make and I could stab you, kill people with an FN pen. And we got a, we got a, a great box of Nomad stuff here. I'm yeah. looking at a 30 watt USB-C charger. I got a gang of these at the house. Never. Yeah, Nomad has them. the best phone chart. Like they got a one where your phone sits on it. It's mm -hmm. just way, it's like, I didn't really, I'm lazy. I get like the one that you get at 7-Eleven. But now... I was like, oh, man, that was really stupid my whole life just getting the jank when I could get Nomad products. That's right. For iPhone cases, Apple Watch straps, wireless chargers, ultra durable cables. Mine have been ultra durable several years and running. They asked me if I wanted more. I was like, honestly, I'm good. The ones you sent me last time still working just fine. Thanks anyway, Nomad. Keep doing what you're doing. Nomad uses American leather. And Nomad is a climate neutral certified brand. Check out Nomad at nomadgoods.com slash Alice to see what living the nomad life is all about. That's N-O-M-A-D. Nomad Goods, G-O-O-D-S dot com slash Alice. Be sure to use code Alice to save 10% on your first order. Do you sleep okay? Yeah, I got sleeping pills. Okay, nice. Which one do you take? Gabapentin and Trazodone Ooh. together. Trazodone? I have really intense dreams on Trazodone. Do you? I don't get anything. Really? Yeah. The only time I get anything is when it wears off. And before I wake up, I have a nightmare about something that the last thing I want to know about. And I just see that over and over again. Okay. So I wake up ready to go, you know? Uh -huh. Tippity tip. <laughs> We're going to go all the way, Jace. You got I love a special you. that just came out. I, do. I love you too. I love you very much. You pregnant bitch. I don't want to make jokes about this because I <laughs> <laughs> I mean that in a, in a very lovely pregnant way. Pregnant slut, I feel like, would have been a little better. My bad pregnant <laughs> slut. <laughs> Still feels weird. <laughs> slut is I'm getting harsh when I call someone a slut a bitch is like casual which is super not I miss I slut like you dumb slut yeah. like I miss that yeah. that like really so there's a couple insults we need to bring back whore I really miss agreed nobody yeah. gets called whores anymore not really nah. huh. I don't yeah. hear it a lot do you yeah, oh gay guys call themselves whores oh that's true yeah. which that's is true. pretty spot on yeah. too yeah I feel Most like there's the a couple one. like insults we need to kind of bring. Moron, I kind of miss moron. Yeah, I do moron still. Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that's like an old school. My dad used to call me a moron all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very lucky my name is Jason, actually. <laughs> it was very, it was like moron or Jason. <laughs> give, him, uh, give him a shot, you know? Like idiot's good. Yeah, yeah, that one too. Yeah. Idiot's good. Like you idiot. Effing idiot was like, one when, of my dad's favorites. Like when someone calls you an idiot, you're just like, you, that must be true. Here's one. My dad used imbecile. Imbecile is yeah. good. If you say imbecile, it's <laughs> it, it twists it a more. <laughs> to misspell calling someone <laughs> yeah. dumb or mispronounce it is perfect. Yeah. yeah. I miss that. It's more You know insulting. what else I like? There's a couple other good ones like dolt. What's that? Dolt is just someone that's like just like useless. Yeah. What is is that, that the one that Kim Jong-un called Trump? <laughs> <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Maybe. No, he, it's he, he, no, no dotard. Dotard, Ooh. which was just like I don't even know if that you just made that up. But it makes oh my sense god, up. you just put I him get in it. his place. It's like dolt meets retard. Like oh my god, doltard. Yeah, like he had What's, to make up a new word. I was hanging out with this girl for a little bit. She's real cool, and she was calling people sibs, and she was younger, like twenty nine. Sibs. Yeah, and that's like a dude that like does stuff for you, but he's not gonna simp. get a simp. simp. A simp. 
Is that what it is? Yeah. The sim. Yeah. yeah. I looked it up because I did a pod on all, you know, they're always adding new words to the online dictionary so yeah. they could do a press release about it. And simp is like somebody who's a fan for somebody to the point of making themselves pathetic. You guys are okay. so old. I think I, I think so that, old. Did he say we're so I think old? Group, Supposedly, well, it's short for simpleton. I think this group was oh. talking about it, and I asked what it was, and they were yeah. all like, "It's you," but they didn't want <laughs> no. to say that. Oh no! But they were like, "It's kind of like a guy." Because I was hanging out with this chick that was like, kind of, I guess maybe out kinda of the league. Yeah, but you know, I was. She just, was hanging out with you. She's not out of your league. Whatever. It doesn't work. That I just way. think that I got. I was like, wait. I think that was directed at a me. A simp is also like someone that would like. Like, uh, I don't know, like, get taken advantage of by a girl. A like, sib or a simp? Simp. Right, so I was right. Yeah, like, if you were to get, like, willingly get taken advantage of by That's a That's what chick, they were saying. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. Like, okay. I like um, try hard. I kind of like tr a try Ooh. hard. Someone with pick me energy. That's yeah. a rough slam. Hey, you're old school. When someone's like, she's got pick me energy. You're like, oh. Oh. That's brutal. Pick me? Pick me. <laughs> What's pick me? Pick me. Like, pick me, oh, pick me. Oh, wow. Like, desperate energy. Yeah, yeah. Right. Like, she's got pick me energy. You're yeah. like, oh. Oh, that's hot. Yeah, the yeah, cat's yeah. got pick me energy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, if someone said I had pick me energy, I'd be so bummed. Like, it changed the way I behave when I heard that insult. Yeah. I was like, oh, God, don't have that. Yeah, I don't. That's school for me. Mm. I just always got pointed out for being lame. I don't know how. Do you think, really? Yeah, because I, I am so, you when guys, I look back on it, I was like, I was fucking cool. What are you talking about? But I think of I you know. as a very cool person. Does he have dysmorphia, like personality dysmorphia? Big time. But, okay. he, may, he, but, but he may not be lying about this. I okay. think he was very, very out of place in like a mainstream suburban yeah. school environment as sure. like an 11-year-old. Yeah. Your, your life was already way off the, yeah. the beat. You were like an emancipated child that somehow they hadn't let out of school yet. Right. So I, what, I do see that. Yeah, because it made more sense being out of school yeah, straight away. Right. I was like, this is great. Seriously, shut up! <laughs> Whitney Cummings is here! <laughs> Sorry, I feel like I distracted. You were going to ask about the special, which was nice. Yeah, because you got to uh, watch it. You're pretty funny. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's hard for me to see you as funny, though, because you're so hot, and I just keep looking at your ass and stuff. <laughs> Every time I see you at the comedy store, I'm like, Wait. Man, I didn't even hear what she said. First of all, you were the only person I allowed to come backstage at my taping, besides Kevin Christie, who, for, who opened for me. So you were there when yeah. I shot it. Yeah, I saw it. It's weird. I've never identified as someone that has a big ass or a good ass, but it got good like a couple of years ago. I got this one machine. How? Oh, wow. You got a machine yeah. that did it? Yeah, I got this machine. It's called the Booty Sprout, and you do these like thrusts. And Are then you I, standing up or sitting down? You're lying down and then it, it's a, like a squee, like a bungee cord that you put over your hips. Yeah. And then you also, um, I do these bands that like you yeah. open and close. Yeah. yeah. So I've really started working on it. So you band your legs and your hips and you thrust your butt off the ground yes. and that butt string. Yeah. I also yeah. do a lot of fucking. I was going to say that's my, <laughs> that's my hip workout. <laughs> I get a lot of that. You know what I mean? But thank Let you. Let it burn in the hips. No one has the audacity to sexually harass me anymore. I appreciate when you do it. It's the least I can do, Whitney. <laughs> it, ma it makes me feel so I mean, good. I mean, because I feel like sometimes you just think you're a pregnant slut. <laughs> but you're more than that. Okay. <laughs> thank you. With a pregnant slut with a great ass. <laughs> I, know. I like and our relationship, funny. Jason. Yeah. I like, do you? Yeah. Uh, it's kind of wild. <laughs> okay. We. I feel like we became friends very fast. Yeah. Fast yeah. old friends. Yeah, I didn't believe you. Yeah, because it was, it was fast. Yeah. Yeah. I felt like as soon as we met, I was like, oh, well, it's like when comics meet, sometimes you're like instantly old friends. Yeah. That's how I felt with you. Yeah, I feel like, because you said something nice when I did a show with you once, and when I, you said it when I was driving on the freeway by myself, and I read it, and it was probably, it, wasn't pro it was the most meaningful thing that's happened to me in comedy, because I'm like, wait. And I read it, and then I was like, "That's." And it says your name on my phone. I'm like, "She said that, dude." Even if it's because I don't, you know, I don't trust anybody. If it's half tr half truth, that's it's fair. Pretty freaking good. Like, get excited about yourself. Kind of believe in yourself a little more because I think maybe I was. Uh, I still like even the other day someone said, "Woody, how do you want me to introduce you?" And I always say, "Pro skateboard or pro fighter." And she goes, "You don't want to say you're a professional comedian." And I was like, I'm well, that not. That goes without saying, because you're going on stage. Yeah, but I just, when she said it, I was like, it doesn't feel right. 
And she was like, what is your problem? And I'm like, I don't have a problem. What, hold on. This next guy's a professional comedian? I, Jason, yeah, I, 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 Jason, I love that for you. Right? What, what idiot if I told it just you to, to say that? that? <laughs> Who's a lady? That goes without saying. She You're... was a nice person. She was okay. trying to be nice, I think. Okay. But it just made, reminded me of my attitude towards it. I just think, because um, I see all the other guys and girls that do it all the time. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's what that is. You know, when you get there, then you can say it. Like when you're Sam Tripley's of the world where you're just, you know, I see him on the, on the Instagram. He's everywhere He's all everywhere. the time. He has like 12 podcasts. That bit I'm not that much of a fan of. I respect him for doing <laughs> that, but I have no wish to have 12 but that's podcasts. that's what it takes for I him know. to just wrangle his brain. I know. Brain. He t I saw him at the airport the other day and he, <laughs> he reeled off like three of them that he was going to drop. And I was like, why do you want to drop those? He's like, so that I can, so that I can concentrate on the other 15. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I, you're insane, dude. That's I love insane. I Sam so yeah. much. Yeah, he's he, also been a big, uh, uh, like a someone that's given me confidence by saying that I've got something from from very early. He was trying to push me into but it. But don't listen to us. Listen to the crowds. When you came out and performed in Brea, you murdered. Yeah, that was a good one. You know you're funny when black people think you're funny and my tour manager, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just going to say it. My tour manager was like, that guy's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. White people will fake it. Right. Right. Wow. I know. My tour manager doesn't play yeah, yeah. around. He's like, that guy's hilarious. Yeah, he took me aside. He was like, I was going to try Never to get you a that. gig with somebody. And I was like, oh, yeah, man. I mean, he looked shocked when he said it, but he said it. <laughs> he was surprised. <laughs> so how do you feel about your special? How's it doing so it's far? It's doing well. I'm excited that like it's free and it's completely uncensored because I felt like, you know, I'd done a Netflix special a couple years ago and I was like, you know, there's every time I do a special, I finish it, it airs, and then I start writing another special. Straight away. Which is like kind of, I guess, good business on some level, but then I would like start with some chunk and then I'd be like, okay, thematically, you know, I need to do something about this. And then I something would excite me like, that ah, doesn't fit in the special. And I was like, this time after my fifth special, I was like, I'm just gonna write like for me. What yeah. I think is interesting, what I think is funny. I'm not gonna worry about like the head of Netflix, is Netflix gonna air it or would HBO put this on? And you know, I just like, let me just write an hour for me and just for like, the, like clubs basically stuff yeah. that I couldn't say anywhere else yeah. and then put that all together and you remember I'm like yelling about trans people for 30 minutes and like saying cr crazy shit that I probably wouldn't put anywhere else and then OnlyFans was like do you want to do our first hour special totally uncensored say whatever you want and I was like mm, maybe the stuff that I wasn't planning on airing I should like air and yeah. did it there and if you're gonna go to OnlyFans TV and be offended, like I feel like that's kind of on you. Yeah, that'd be weird. Sure. Yeah. And I think we should make clear to people I'd never downloaded that app before. OFTV, OnlyFans TV is not it's OnlyFans, but it's a it's a separate thing. It's so easy. No buttholes are gonna come up, no crazy shit's gonna happen. Yeah. Also, you can just go to OF.tv and it's just a website. Oh, okay, yeah. Slash Whitney, and it's there and it's completely free. The functionality was like so great. I was watching awesome. my car and it just every time I walked, I I Pause it, it just started right back up, and I was very happy with the experience. Uh, nice. Yeah, and I I like that it feels, I mean, this in a good way, it feels casual. It it it, it feels like a club show, you know? That, I like that there's so much cl uh, uh, crowd work in there. It, it feels like you, and not something that we'd always see. The special is always go big. I always go way too polished. Yeah. I have pick me energy. I Most of my specials is like, you work on it for two years, it's polished. I always felt like I had to work twice as hard to get half as far. And it's like super be, impressive. And be per the perfect. And then I was like, you know what, this one, I'm shooting at my home club, the Comedy Store main room. Because what comics do is we, for like when you shoot your first special, what we always do, and I guess this might be what you do in skating also, but it, you don't really get to cho choose where you do your, you know. Um, oh, no, you can. Street dudes. Definitely want to pick spots where it's, oh, they can. it's give them more of a theme for the trick. But like in like the, um, when you're doing like a competition or something, what yeah. I was going to say is like comics, like we always make it an away game. We're like, yeah. oh, I work in the comedy store every yeah. night. I'm going to shoot my special. I'm going to go to Carnegie Hall. It's like you do that once every three years if you're lucky. And yeah. then you're in this unfamiliar environment and you're trying to figure it out. It's like, why don't I just shoot this where I am every night yeah. where I'm the most comfortable? And it's cooler. Like the comedy store is way cooler. No one gives a place. shit. No one's like watches these big specials and they're like, look at that gold leaf yeah, architecture. Right. The only like, people that look at that are the, are the comedians. We we per, we ch pick these big venues just to impress other comedians. Yeah, that's that's right. the only reason we do it. So that's where you're most comfortable, but based on the beginning of the special, it did not seem like you were particularly comfortable as you were going on stage. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I was like just having like a little last minute panic attack. I thought was it, I thought it might have been pregnancy nausea. It was just more like, I uh, like. do you have a little, <laughs> I just have to I pa that. panic a little bit. I was just, like, oh. I was wearing a 
a onesie. I was like, do I have to pee? Do I not have to pee? I think sometimes I am so weirded out by how comfortable I am before a special that I feel the need to kind of yeah. stress myself out Because it gets purpose. the adrenaline going. Just, it makes you sharper. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. it. I like kind of will do something yeah. to make myself late. Yeah, I put pressure. Yeah. Like, I don't know where I find it, but I'll put it on big time. Like as soon as, I, this reminds me of when I was performing in, I think it was like Dubai with, you know, Tommy Davidson back in the day in Living Color, you would know. Yeah. But uh, he just got called to go on stage in Dubai and someone's like, you're on in 10. He goes, cool, I'm going to jump in the shower. I was like, what? And like looking back, it's like, that's what he was doing. Oh, right. I'm going to just make myself rush yeah. so that I'm going to have adrenaline. Hey, in your special, you talk about dating. And some of the jokes that you have about dating uh -huh. makes me think that you go, you were trying to date some kooks. I like, was. You, yeah, like all the dudes that do the 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 meat thing and like live like they like the oh high pretty, performers. Yeah, like all those guys. Like, cause there there's a lot more of them now, especially LA. Like, it just seems like. I don't think they're all telling the truth. I think they say they do it, mm. but they don't. I'm kind of psyched that men have eating disorders now. It's kind of nice. You like it? Well, I just mean like this whole thing of like, I'm keto. I'll only eat this. Yeah, I yeah. won't eat chicken. It's not a complete protein. Yeah. I only eat kale and I fast. I'm like, oh, this is just an eating disorder. We've all done this. Yeah. <laughs> like I've been doing yeah, this never since, of that. since I was a teenager. Or like the obsession with your body. Like women want to get smaller. Men want to get bigger. It yeah. just kind of feels like now the body pressure is more egalitarian. Like we both kind of <laughs> have it, you know? It just seems so the same with MMA. Like MMA is big. A lot of guys who like to talk about it. They watch it and they, you know, like, oh yeah, I train. They don't have any idea at all. Mm. They just it's more of a thing that you talk about at the barbershop. Like you, you want to mm -hmm. have at least a, a couple of things you know about Game of Thrones and <laughs> MMA. You know, like like dudes have to know it. But mm -hmm. it seems like because the cold plunge. Everyone talks about the cold plunge. <laughs> I don't know that many people that actually do it for three minutes every day. <laughs> Because that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. As a person that has it, that claims it, mm -hmm. there's days where I don't go in there. No. You know why? Because it sucks too much. It's But also they say the stress of going in, like if you're going like, oh, it's a, that's worse for you. So if it stresses you out to that. go in, you're making cortisol and you're actually stressing yourself out. So if you do it in a way that's like, actually going to get the benefits of it but they well say okay if, if it's that big of a deal then maybe you shouldn't do it but yeah i i there's definitely days where i get in and i don't want to get in it mm -hmm. but i can feel that i that was a good idea within seconds you look good really mm -hmm. i'm tired really yeah. how old are you can i ask 52 you look great yeah yes too old for you to date though right your age is not doesn't break the top 2,000 things I'd be worried Two things, about. The other things? Right. <laughs> That's fair. Well, I have said that you're pretty smart, so that makes sense. But, you know, I don't think you'd want to date me if we really got down to it. Why not? I don't know. I feel like I'd be... Be mean to me or something? No, I think it's the opposite. I think I'm too nice to you. I think I like you, too, I like you as a person too much, and you wouldn't agree with me, and we'd fight about it. Oh, right. Wait, well, what? we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> like I feel like I would just be like, why don't you see me the way I see you? It would annoy yeah. me. Right. Well, I don't want to let you down, so <laughs> we'll stay I, over here. I, <laughs> <laughs> like, can you be with someone that like really likes you? Now I can. Yeah. Because now I'm not. Uh, like, do you ever feel suspicious when someone really likes you? I do. Hell yeah. Yeah. It's gonna take a second. Mm -hmm. But I think I I feel like I'm pretty good when I when it comes to judging somebody mm -hmm. when i like look at them and see how they look at me why are you sitting like you're in a chemo waiting room <laughs> there we go <laughs> pregnant slut man <laughs> just harassing my ass sorry. dude I'm trying to just I'm hang sorry. out here. i'm sorry you know? This is a pretty chill conversation. You got a special. Hey, you, you <laughs> look like you look like you're in trouble, bro. <laughs> like, wow. I just, I'm very, uh, I'm very into the your juxtaposition of you having such a gentle side and being so sensitive, but also like a tough motherfucker. Yeah, but I don't like that anymore. Mm -hmm. Like the tough guy's embarrassing to me. It used to be embarrassing to me when I had a temper and I would if I went off, I would recall the temper mm -hmm. and it reminds me of my father and even more now than ever that really makes me sad. Mm. I don't want to be like that at all. But it's in there. But I've managed to pretty much choke that thing out. Like I don't really have like every now and then I'll think about it. Yeah. 
but I'll usually shut it up. I feel like I have this too. I think people think that I'm like this really rough, gruff person because really? I'm a comic, you know, but I'm actually like really sensitive and shy. Yeah. But do you feel like your exterior sometimes betrays your interior and you yeah. attract a certain kind of yeah. person? But that's my child. I built this so nobody would cross me again. Mm -hmm. I built somebody that would protect me from my father and mm -hmm. anybody else for the rest of time. And it had to be a pretty scary guy because mm -hmm. there's a lot of scary people out there. Mm -hmm. I've seen them. So I made this so you can't touch me anymore. Right. But now I don't I won. I went to therapy. Mm -hmm. I won. <laughs> I don't need to I don't need to protect myself anymore. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. So I don't need to fight anymore. I don't need to be aggressive. I don't need to be standoffish. But it's when you've done it, it's like my accent. I haven't lived in Australia for 30 years. Why do I sound like this? It's because that's where I grew up. I always up. wonder. I'm like, can like does it take work to turn it down? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can, and I can only do an over the top guy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but I love that you know that it's over the top. Too. I can't do it in between. It's just like it's either it's like me or I'm. Hey, hey, it's Tony Hawk. <laughs> you know I mean? Let's get some beer, party. Yeah. Like, have you ever tried like cheeseburgers? <laughs> I learned how to say that. Because I say, can I get a cheeseburger? And they go, what? And I'm like, a cheeseburger. What? I'm like, cheeseburger? And they're like, oh, a cheeseburger. I'm like, that's impossible. It's just a little bit different. What do you mean? And then same with phone numbers. When I used to order pizza when I was a kid, I'd be like, you know, 555. Five, five. They're like, 237. And I'm like, what? That's not even one of the numbers. And then I go, 555 five, five total. And they just say it. And I'm like, this is crazy That's how so it works. Funny. Yeah, well, I used to, my ex would laugh at me. At a, I don't go to drive throughs very often, but if I do and they don't listen, <laughs> I just don't bother. I just, it's same with my phone. My phone won't hear me if I go, oh, mate, how do I get to Temecula? I got to go, dude, how do I totally get to Temecula? <laughs> and it's like, oh, total. It's same with the thing. I'm like, let me get a cheeseburger and, fr and fr uh, let me get a cheeseburger and fries. What? Cheeseburger and fries. <laughs> That's a funny Dude. like TikTok series. You trying to order at fast food restaurants? It, I can do it every day. I can order pizza <laughs> right now and get nothing. <laughs> With just a small modification of a few words, that's so. I'll funny get nothing. To me. Yeah. Do you ever date Australian girls that live here? Or no, nah, I whoever? would. I was actually one one Australian girl. This this MMA. She used to fight in the UFC. Now she like box kickboxes and stuff. And she hit me up today, and I thought about it for a second because I was like. She's cute. I don't know if that's a stupid question, but like, do you like get along better? I don't no. know. No. no. Oh. I would now because when I first moved here, I had a hatred for Australia mm -hmm. and and anybody Australian. Okay. I, I, I trusted them less. Okay. Cause because they you sounded from like criminals? the people that crossed me. Oh, right. So I, I had a, a disdain for them. Mm. I didn't like football. I used to hate all the Australian stuff. Mm. I'd go back and be like, poof, 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 sucks. What's Australia's America's big awesome. thing? Aussie rules football. Okay. Meat pies, four and twenties. Yeah, who's serious? Shut yeah. up, dude. It is not. Yeah, he like, was just there for the nineties. That's it. It was a mistake. Okay. Anyway, Actresses, they make some great actresses. Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman, right. Naomi Watts. Who lives here. Not Margot Robbie. They all live here. Yep. But I just mean you guys make beautiful mm. blondes. So Tony, Tony Collette, not a blonde, but yeah, Australian. Yeah. Um Russ. Old Crow. Crow. Yeah. Yeah. See now no, I, I call would, him Russ, first of now all. Now I would like an Australian because they would remind me of home and home no longer reminds me of bad things. Mm -hmm. nice. I actually kind of miss it now. Nice. It's been like like eight years, I think, uh -huh. since I've been there. Wow. So I would, I'd be like, what are you, when were you there? And like, what do they do now? Yeah, yeah. Because I don't know what they do now. So shrimp on the. That only, they never did that, but yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm like, I'm such a cartoon stereotypical <laughs> It's called a prawn. Idea. It's called a prawn. Okay. We never called him shrimps on the Barbie. On the Barbie. And he did that. I was here when he did that. And I was like, okay. what are you talking about? We don't have a shrimp. Oh, who's he? That was a thing? For Crocodile was, Dundee. Yeah, Crocodile oh, Dundee did it. Oh, yes. I didn't realize that's what that was from. Yeah, the first Australian. He helped me a lot. That was a big deal. Because when he had that movie and I was here, mm -hmm. everybody assumed that I was a pro skateboarder that could live off the land in the bush. Mm -hmm. Like that just came compulsory with being Australian. So a lot of chicks wanted to sleep with me. Like I was, people were just like, oh my, I would say something. They go, mm -hmm. oh my God, where's that accent? 
And I'm like, is Shay? Oh my God, is it true that, you know? And I'd be like, oh yeah, whatever, you know? What do you find the similarities are? Because I've been kind of obsessed with this recently, the similarities between becoming a great skateboarder and becoming a great comic. Because I didn't realize how similar they are in terms of the trajectory of getting better. I think there's that thing that bites you where you become obsessed and it doesn't matter what it looks like on the way up, you don't care because as long as you get to do it, mm -hmm. you're happy. Mm. And then maybe later on with years of repetition, you're like, man, I've been doing this for a long time with now no outcome. And you start <laughs> contemplating it, but the people that really love it yeah. don't care. Like I, I would skate, if you didn't pay me, if you charged me to skate, I would pay, let it known when you paid me back in the day to skate. Yeah. I was it was a sweet deal. When you like, start doing open mics you usually have to pay. Right. Yeah, and it's also like I like, well, I don't make any money and I don't I haven't thought about that at all. I'm just like, why well, not? I've got a long way to go. Mm. You'd yeah. like skip this a little bit, but like you also kind of start doing stand up like in parking lots. <laughs> in, what? In, yeah, in LA. I started in like parking lots, coffee so, shops. To like a group of people, they would arrange a comedy. Yeah, like co comedians would like just start like no, a room. stage. Like an outside yeah. in a parking lot, in Van Nuys, in a sushi restaurant. Like you just do it wherever you can How do it. How many people would be in a parking lot? Oh, this was like in Glendale. There used to be a place called Bliss. I don't know, maybe 15. Yeah. But it's normally comics. Like in the beginning, you're kind of just doing your open mics for other comics that okay. are waiting to go on, yeah. you know, which yeah. might be the same with I skaters. did that at the Dime Bar. Everybody oh, sure. in there was up next. Can I ask something about skateboarding? Do you like the same way that as a comic, like I always am sort of like, what's funny about fake flowers? Oh, those are real flowers. Oh, well. Um, like what's funny about M&Ms? Like I'm kind of always thinking. I picked those for you. Really? Yeah, you still want to still don't want to go to dinner with me? This is you've never invited me you to I didn't reject you for dinner. You don't get to say you still don't want to go to dinner with me as if I've been rejecting you. Never asked me to dinner for the record. All right. What's this Blair Witch You just project? made it clear there's several thousand reasons why you wouldn't go out. Thank you, you Michael. <laughs> that was a joke. All right. All that right. was also a joke. We're All also right. doing hahas here. <laughs> Did the Blair Witch project tie this up? What is the wood in it? It's what do you call it? You got to light it. Oh, nice. Oh, you really? You don't like Polo Santa? Oh. That's my favorite. That smells amazing. Stick. Oh. <laughs> oh my god jason breaks my heart i mean like every time i look at you my heart shatters oh so i look around and <laughs> i just odd myself <laughs> that's new <laughs> i don't believe i've done that before why are we yeah. by the way him and i get along great i don't know why we're being so awkward yeah wait we are don't you think this I is... think we're getting along great. <laughs> I know, but it's a little the awkward. the house on fire over you, I think you're tired. <laughs> maybe I'm, I'm not tired. Maybe I'm projecting. Maybe Shop, I'm tired. I'm just stinging a little bit. I'll I'm be just, fine. I'm just curious if skateboarders, like when you guys walk by like a set of stairs. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. you can't. Like the, it's like what, looking at girls' butts. Here's you have one to, for like... you. There's a guy <laughs> a long time ago in the 80s that used to say, he had a, uh, he's Japanese and he would always say, when you're driving down the freeway or driving down the street, he goes, look at the fucking handrail. <laughs> <laughs> he would always say that and, and everybody we we caught it and and we were we thought it was said so well that that I said that for like 30 years with other skateboarders that knew the joke for 30 years where we're driving down the street and I go look fuck a hell <laughs> <laughs> everyone, everyone would go, yeah, look at the handrail. And I'm a guy that doesn't even skate handrails anymore. And I would still catch them. Like I, I catch stuff that my body would die rolling down. And I go, oh, look at that. And I'm like, why am I looking at that? I'll die if I go down. It. Yeah, but just look at it. I'm like, dude, it doesn't, yeah, it never goes away. Like staircases. Like there everything. were places at the airport. Every time I get picked up the airport in Australia, there was this freeway they just recently built. And this big, uh, like a uh, building that had the weird arc roof, like, but it was like that, uh, the, the metal corrugated stuff. Mm -hmm. And it, and it went with like, a, it was like an eight foot gap onto the freeway. Mm -hmm. And every time I drove by it, I was like, you can, you can only that onto the freeway. I was like, dude, I called my friend. I was like, you like, what's the, you know, like we go at like three in the morning and you like block off cars and I just go off there. He's like, dude, if you slip off there, it is like 10 stories. Like you are dead. I'm like, yeah, but, if I make it <laughs> and you get it on video, we will be sick. You know what I mean? Was, I got in a wormhole like of watching guys try to do the um, car wash on Sunset Boulevard. 
you know, the Sunset Boulevard car wash, the one right oh, next to the Laugh yeah, Factory. Oh, yeah, 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 bump jumping it. Yeah, yeah they, I think they had to start putting something up so yeah. people would stop trying yeah, to skate it. Yeah, because Guns did it first. There's uh-huh. a famous guy that did it first before anyone even caught it as a skateboard Because you thing. have to hit, you go yeah. right into Sunset And you've got to ollie the gap. There's a gap at the bottom. It's not a, you've got to like ollie something to get to the ground and it's on the way down. So it's like super potential shit whipping. And he did it. And because he did it, people from around the world came to Hollywood to try and do something else off it to one up him and then yeah and got- if you land it you go into traffic oh, like yeah. there's no way to stop yeah but skateboarders do the yeah you know you do the thing where if he makes it you jump out in traffic and stop the car or get hit by it to stop that it's not smart it's just right. what we do right right, right 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 but so far in all my life of that stupid move we stopped the car and they, no, I've never seen anyone just get run over me. <laughs> stop, rat! I'm like, oh, man, that didn't work. Yeah, I usually, they stop, you know? Yeah. Because they... people bomb hills sometimes too and you've got to block the cross intersection because he's doing like 60 and he can't get off. So if a car comes, he's dead. Mm. So when there's a car there, somebody stands in front of the car and goes, hang on a minute. There's a guy coming. Is there any in skating, like, drug testing? Like, does Adderall make you better? Like, if someone's taking Adderall, are you better at it? I don't think so. I mean, if it's in the Olympics, then yeah. Oh. Because that's a different testing thing. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. I think there was, like, a marijuana thing as well, which would have kicked a lot of people off. It's just changed now. Mm. Skateboarding is full of 14-year-olds. Like, the contest is full of really young people. Mm. Like one of the people I was announcing at the mega ramp and there was a guy in the mega ramp and he was like, uh, I was like, how's it feel, man? He's like, good. Like, I know him. He knows me, but not very well. And he goes, uh, you skated this thing? And I was like, what do you mean? Like right now? He's like, nah, ever. And I was like, I was the second person to ever jump it, dude. And he was like, really? Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, why don't you know that? (laughs) And then I looked at his name on the sheet and he's, 24 years old and the last time i jumped it was 24 years ago so he wasn't born when i jumped the mega ramp and he's now in the top five in the world and he like somebody else that's older that was in it was like dude alice like frontside three day and he was like oh like looked at me completely different i was like what did you think i was here for like i just know tony hawk on the podcast like he didn't know that i'd been pro for 25 years. I've had a lot recently of, I loved you so much when I was a kid. Yeah, me too. That's Nobody rough. catches it, right? That's rough. Or, or in college. Like, or, how, and I'm like, dude, like, please don't say that. How do you that. not know that yeah. that's coming out of your mouth, that it's going to suck? Yeah. But also to me, it's like, I mean, I, they're obviously really good, these people. Like, I know what Richard Pryor did. I know what Sam Kinison did. Like, yeah. How could you not... Have studied this, yeah. Stuff, I guess, yeah, or in skating, yeah. Paying have- some respects. Well, I think there's, I think there's. Don't you new- want to know who came before you? And I don't know how we knew about that stuff because we did not have YouTube, etc. That's it's, a good. Yeah. It's point. quite a bit easier. That's a really good point. How yeah, you have to know a guy yeah. to know a guy. Like yeah, I know. Why do you not know? Me. How do you not know? Yeah. Yeah. I would have had to go to like PBS and wait for the prior <laughs> yeah. documentary to. I would have had to like find a record somewhere. I interviewed a pro skateboarder who's all, also a model today, and he said, "I was like, what are some of the music? I think Tony asked him, what is some of the music you're into?'" And he was like, "This dude Q, he's like the new Prince." And I was like, "Excuse me," <laughs> and Ooh. I and I and I checked him because I was like. Does this guy play all instruments? He plays a couple. I'm like, plays a couple, but he's the new prince. <laughs> and they were like, why are you getting fired up? And I'm like, because somebody has to, <laughs> yeah, that's so true. that you know how dumb you are for saying that. I'm with you. The new prince, that's tricky. You're not. No yeah. one's ever going to be. You got to mm-hmm. respect it. Prince has recently been resurfacing a lot on TikTok, his interviews about like, like chemtrails yeah. and Q. I didn't realize yeah, that I, he, I didn't realize he had like all the cheat. Like he was yeah. just doing that on like, nighttime television yeah. we, i guess that like, we missed it he was talking about chemtrails he was talking about like the government putting chemicals in our food he's and- also on heroin 24 7 well a lot of people on heroin back then a lot of what they said back then makes a lot of sense now yeah. <laughs> maybe they just maybe that's my problem i need to get on heroin we're more fearless huh. um but yeah he seemed to like know a lot wouldn't you do heroin too if you knew that much? Yeah, yeah, I guess. <laughs> if you knew about chemtrails back then. Wasn't he also an actual practicing Jehovah's Witness? I heard he literally went and knocked on the doors. I don't know about the knocking on the doors, but that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, but so is Serena Williams. 
Who? Right? The Williams sisters? Yeah. Both Which of is them? always so weird to me because you can't do blood transfusions. And like when athletes do it, I'm like, what does that happen? Wait. Oh. Yeah. One of the Jehovah's Witness thing is you can't have blood transfusions. You can't have coffee. Yeah. Right? Wow. I didn't know that, but that tracks. Uh huh. It's like there's coffee. a lot of coffee. Right. Can't have what coffee. Does coffee do? Can't, by the way, you can't have parties. You can't celebrate stuff. You can't have parties. Where did God say that? I, Even the most insane translation of the Bible imaginable. Jehovah's Witness is a fascinating one. I don't know what the exact number is, but it's like only, you know, 200,562 people will survive this apocalypse. And if you're in Jehovah's Witness, you'll survive the rapture. Oh, balls. I, yeah, I know. <laughs> Get off this me. This says Prince became a dedicated baptized Jehovah's Witness on March 23rd, 2003. Did it say in the life. Jehovah's Witness book, do copious amounts of heroin? <laughs> Did he do a lot of heroin? Because that would, I mean, <laughs> huh. he died of it. I think that was propofol, or was it fentanyl or propofol that he died of? No, I think fentanyl's him, propofol's Michael, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Yeah. Ugh, I've done propofol when I got my eggs retrieved. And Hell yeah. He died. Wait, he died retrieved. doing what he loved. Do they put a scooper in your veg? They, <laughs> they, I froze my eggs when I was like 33, yeah. and they suck them out, and they put you on propofol, which is what Michael Jackson did. And I was because, like, I get it. Because when, wait, would they suck shit out? So when you freeze your eggs, they harvest a ton of them. What do you mean harvest? Like, um, Take them out of your box. <laughs> they... they they give you a bunch of hormones so that you make a bunch of eggs. Yeah. And then they suck. So I got 17 eggs. And then they. Like with a vacuum? I think it's probably like a needle or like. A Ew. Sore. Wait, they. <laughs> Wait, they stab it and then they suck it out? Yeah, they drain them out. And then Ew, they... and then they inject it into some other thing? Yes. Ew. Why? Is and then, wait, they, free, they freeze the thing that they injected they, it yeah, in? and then they put it in a freezer. And then if they need to put them back in later, they can. They inject it back in with another needle? <laughs> You well, guys are crazy. That might be more of like a turkey. So if you and I want to have a kid, yeah. we'd take your sperm. Yeah. We put it. <laughs> we think about it. What? It, think about it just for a second. Laugh away, you assholes. What if I was that like, thing let's have a kid, a but beast. no sex involved? <laughs> Wait, what? We're not having sex. What the hell? <laughs> this would be if we did it via in vitro. Wait, like, does that mean I get stabbed with a needle? Because that doesn't sound like, a like fun does that mean I get half of your money or not? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want your money. I want your propanol or whatever it is. <laughs> Propofol. Yeah. And also, propofol only lasts 20 minutes and then it wears off and you're dead sober. Oh. So I get why, Bummer. like, celebrities. Oh, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, it seems yeah. like a good idea. When you're in a time crunch. Yeah. <laughs> a time <laughs> crunch of not being able to handle time. I'm if I know that I yeah. can podcast in 20 minutes. I need minutes. to get fucked up pronto. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. it really is like so many of these drugs, like, you're hungover for a couple days. It's like you're crystal clear 20 minutes. Yeah. Oh, that sounds, you're it's selling like, it. It's like anesthesia, basically. I mean, both of those guys were doing anesthesia. Do you want to hear something really hot? Yeah. I got anal fissures once and I went to hospital because it really hurt and they gave me morphine and they go, do you feel any better? And I was like, nah. And they go, well, then we'll give you something else. And I was like, okay. And then they gave me something else and I forgot what it was called, but it was really cool. You know it's good when you forgot what it was called. Yeah. Like as soon as it kicked in, I was like, oh. Morphine? Nah, because I had morphine and it didn't work. Oh, sorry. So uh, they gave me something stronger. Fentanyl? That's... Nah, because I would have remembered that word. Huh. There's another one. Ketamine. Nah, I know that one too well too. <laughs> God damn it. How much stronger? I know the same people you know. <laughs> <laughs> that spray gets you going, baby. Let me tell you. I know the same people you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, the ketamine nasal spray I did is not straight ketamine. No, it's got oxytocin in yeah, it. Yeah. Right? Which is pretty oxy awesome. Which is, so it's not, but not, that's not oxycontin. That's the love, nah. the love stuff that makes girls fall in love with I idiots. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's what happened. <laughs> Honestly, yes. Yeah. <laughs> You're a doctor. Um, <laughs> it's the drug, the neurochemical that you emit after you like have an orgasm or when mm. you hug someone and it makes you feel like super cozy and, you know, forgiving. So I've never done straight ketamine. Yeah, I've done that. I hear that's a little too much. Yeah, because it's, yeah, it is. It's different. It's like, for me, it's like too, I'm too old for it. Like I've done it and I've gone, ah. Oh. It just makes Yeah, I, don't, I definitely don't want any more. As a matter of fact, I would have preferred if I had it done a little bit less. Huh. But then that the spray, it was always cool. But that like, because that, they microdose it for depression. Yeah. And when I did that over the pandemic, you just can't do it and talk about it publicly and have blue hair. 
And that was the mistake I made. Uh, But it did help me forgive. I didn't realize how much anger I was walking around with. I didn't realize how, like... I, like I would do it and then I'd be like that agent who did and I'd be like that person is right here this yeah. person from 12 years ago that was only in my life for three months who said something mean to me or yep. did something nasty to me I can't, that person takes up so much real estate in my head and it helped me forgive a lot of people yeah so very handy yeah I think it's kind of a miracle but I know a lot of people that uh, their marriages didn't survive it <laughs> I know a lot of people who like yeah I might be one of them oh really I don't know I, I know a lot of people who... I definitely got too into it. Oh, really? I remember that he gave me lozenges because I was blocking my nose from doing it so much. And then the lozenger, I blew my knee out skating and I was staying at Airbnb. And I was like, I got days. Mm. I'll just take two of these lozenges and zone out. And I K-holed hard. Did that have the... the, the I, uh, I was like hanging on for dear life. Did that have the oxy... To- oxy sorry. Nah. Oh, yeah, probably. Or, okay. Because it was, but it, it dissolved under your tongue, and it was like twice as strong as the spray. And I just did two, and didn't oh, boy. eat. I'd just been skating, and it just what? And next thing you know, I was in the bathroom, holding onto a towel for like forty-five minutes. Just, just sitting there. In another world. Yeah, I couldn't get out. But there's something. There's it's a dissociative, right? So there. Oh yeah. There, I was sometimes gone. when I feel like it didn't mix properly, or if I would like take it on a plane, it would like you would kind of see yourself. Like watching yourself on a yeah. TV screen, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Kind of just like not you, but you. Yeah. That's a K hole. Yeah, I'm glad. It also became not good anymore. Like kind of cured yeah. me. Like I just started to do it and go, oh man, I don't really like that. And I was like, I guess I won't do it anymore. And then yeah. I only used it on planes when I traveled because it seemed to kill time better. But then. I ran out and was like, I don't really think I need any more. I did realized I needed to stop smoking weed when I used a vape on a plane. How did you <laughs> did you forget for a second? I just wasn't thinking. Like yeah. I I took like a hit of it before I went into the airport. Yeah. Just to get through. Yeah. You know what I mean? And what I would do is I would take a tampon wrapper and put the vape in it because if a TSA person sees a tampon wrapper, they just like won't look. Yeah. Garlic, garlic to vampires. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. They're just like, panic. And so then I was on, I was like laying down, like trying to sleep and I couldn't sleep and I was like in my pocket and I just like did it. Like I just wasn't thinking. Yeah. I was a little stoned. And then suddenly three flight attendants came over and they're like, ma'am, you need to get up. You need to get up. And I was like, what? And they were like, there's a fire. And I was like, oh my God. Like they're, this is, I, I believe, a felony. Like, I believe yeah. this is like they'll have to land the plane. Like, yeah. and thank God I'm so crazy that I had my curling iron plugged in, lying next to me. <laughs> and you blamed that, or was it the thing that was burning? Because I was like, oh, when I get up, I'll like curl my hair before a thing. Oh, that makes total sense. So- <laughs> if I had a dime for every time that happened to me, Michael. So then I think, what the God, hell? My insanity rescued me, and I said, I was like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. The curling iron has, like, hair on it, and I think it's just, like, smoke. This happens all the time. I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah. And they still had to, like, stand me up and yeah. check the whole thing, but it was like, I don't know what would have happened to me. Man, you got I lucky. I know. Yeah, what would have happened? The book at you. I don't know. I don't know. If, I mean, I feel like you're, if you're not like, screw you, I do whatever I want, then they'll probably throw the book at you. But uh-huh. if you're like, oh, my God, I completely forgot. Like, I get... Maybe. I, f- I don't know. I feel like you're just a respectable human being and they let respectable human beings slide. But if you were like, shut up, bitch. I'll smoke wherever I goddamn want to. Then yeah, 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 the yeah. cops come. Yeah. They arrest you. Yeah. You get... Probably would have been a big fine. Probably not allowed to fly on their airline. Oh, really? They do that to people. Okay. So, yeah, not worth it. Fair. So, are you done or are you going to get back into it after? I think I'm done. Like, here's the thing with me and we. It wasn't like a, you know, there's like a difference, right? There's the people that need to do it every day. And then there's people that. God damn it. When they do it, they do it so hard. Like, it's almost like binge drinking. God damn it. It's like people that don't have to drink for two weeks. But when they drink, they black out. Mm. I was kind of like that with weed. Like, I could go weeks without doing it. But when I did it, I would go so hard. Because my brain would tell me like, oh, it's about to wear off or, oh, that edible didn't hit or something. It's just so, yeah, I, I, I probably shouldn't be stoned with an infant. Eh, Before not. they can roll over. <laughs> There's not a lot to do. There is like an on ramp there where you're like, they literally can't go anywhere. Sure, sure, As sure, long sure. as you don't neglect them for like seven hours. They're in a K-hole. They'll yeah. They'll bounce back. So, uh, yeah, what's the best drug to do around newborns? Let's get what me. What did I do? I was completely <laughs> sober. So, uh, yeah, I was in hell. 
Are you, are you gonna are you, really are you gonna do like the wife. breast milk thing? I'll try doing the breast. It's interesting you say Hell that yeah. because a lot of people Can like breastfeeding. But sure, yeah, sure. Hell yeah, they're, that's they're, gonna be a great they're afternoon. Like breastfeeding feels like an orgasm. I'm you like, make sure you make you mix up the titties because if you let one titty do the work, uh, that's how you get crooked pregnant lady titties. Okay. Trust me, I had to fix those. By I had sucking to get them on fixed. Them? No, nah, like, I had to like pay a, for a plastic like a, surgeon to oh. fix them. Wait, so because she only blew would her use... titty off, first one did, killed it, and she should have alternated yeah. more. Yeah, because just they got into a, their happy spot, and that happy spot effed one titty. So up. one of them like deflated. Yeah, yeah, killed it. So I had to get two new titties, the even Stevens. <sighs> that guy's welcome. How long did she breastfeed for? The whole time. What is that? How, Would the, they like still? It could be any. <laughs> you know, it could be any. What do you mean still? Like it could be six months. It could be a year. It could be a month. I would have said, because I remember we would go to the Supercross. That was one time where she forgot the pump mm. and I had to suck the milk out of her titties and spit it into the motocross uh, sink in the Kawasaki trailer because I was down with Kawasaki and they let me suck titty milk in their <laughs> camper. I uh, Thank you, what Kawasaki. What does it taste like? Metal. You know what's crazy? It so does vagina blood and milk both taste like metal. That tracks. So that made me realize like women are metal, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they like must they I must mean there's be. a lot of iron in blood. Yeah, but I didn't know that it if you tasted iron it actually tastes like metal. Agree. I should have known that okay. because it's iron, but I don't think I just that's figured why it was two either. different irons. Yeah, no. You know? <laughs> It's not, I, a, it's not an iron rod made of blood. I don't blood. think iron tastes like metal. Right. Either. But it does. But you does period blood not bother you? Nah. Sick. Not if you're hot. I'm, okay. I go extra. <laughs> I'll give you wall paint with it. <laughs> Rich Voss has a good joke about that. He goes, I bet he does. He's the grossest <laughs> human alive. I can't wait to hear this. Go he ahead. goes, I don't mind having sex with a girl on her period. I just pretend like I'm killing her. <laughs> No, it kind of it kind of works. So good. Like embracing the blood, like give me more instead yeah. of like trying to duck it. Say sp- uh-huh. push more on me. Give me more blood. <laughs> Flick it up on my well, face. Well, it also feels the best normally during that time. Yeah, you guys get pretty horny when you're bleeding. It's pretty cool. You guys are like <laughs> like weak vampires, kind of, <laughs> but but in another way more powerful. Because I wait. I would. I as much as I would like to have sex with a vampire. I'm not that gay. Like I. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty gay, but I wouldn't have. I'd rather have sex with a vampire lady. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'd yeah. like to have vaginal sex while I'm being bitten. Yeah, I don't really want to fuck a guy and he bite me. The like, logistics of that are or vice versa. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't really like. I don't really like getting uh, dumb. I don't like guys anymore. It's kind of bumming me out. Yeah. Something happened the other day, and I don't want to do it anymore. What I don't happened? know what happened. I'm changing, man. I'm like going into a cocoon. I get it. I get date guys else. too. <laughs> yeah, it's rough out there. You date women though, right? Yeah. Not you. Not for you. I was a lot of voice memos. <laughs> yeah. What is that? It's <laughs> so many voice memos. Yeah, like sometimes that's not convenient. To... Eight minute voice memo. Yeah, I did. No. And this was before you yeah. could like restart it. Like, oh go... my god, that's ins- Yeah, you are dumped. And you are it, blocked. For it that. always says. The other person, so if I send you a voice memo and you listen to it, it'll say, Jason has saved your voice memo. Yeah, I got in trouble for that the other day. <laughs> I got in trouble. She called back and said, and I, I don't be recording. I was like, I'm not recording crap from you. You're an asshole. Why would I want to record another message from you being such a prick for no fucking reason at all? I like gave you a gun and you're like, Thanks for the gun, Leo. But like, you suck so bad. He blocked me after I give it to you. Like, but God. that's like that's just some weird thing. Like, I'm not saving your voice memo. It just says that for some reason. So yeah. that creates a lot of confusion. Yeah, I don't know what that was, but I haven't had that. Yeah, the it person was accused confusing. you of, of saving it so that you. Yeah, could and share I didn't it. save it. I just her friend told me to hit her back and was like, I think she's still down for you don't give up and i was like i'm pretty sure she's over it and then she's like just hit her up and then i hit her up and you know she talked to me for a second and then she like called me flipping out and i was like wait i'm just like i'm i haven't done anything on purpose to do it you know what I mean? and you know that and you're just being over the top mean and that made her real angry that i used mean and i'm like mean 
I all I said was the word mean. I didn't say like you're a f- like pregnant slut or anything. <laughs> and you're gonna freak out like that. And that made me feel like it was a good idea that I I'm getting out of this. But it was just a harsh way to get out of it. Where I, when I was like, uh. I've been a prick several times, and I've never been more aware of it in my life than right now. And right now, I did not do that to you in any way. And this is undeserving. But someone behaving like that, I don't think you can convince them otherwise. Yeah, did no, you I just say gotta, you, you gave this person a gun? Yeah. You know well, what? Not, I blew whatever. past that. I blew past that because I thought not a it was real a gun. quote. I thought it was like a like a quote that was. She'd said. been getting harassed by Duke four different guys in four days. I wonder why. So mm. I called a friend. That, I think, by the way, I don't think they were harassing her. I think she just thinks everyone's always harassed. This person sounds she, like she. It's like the person well, who I runs really, into assholes everywhere they go. In the common like denominator her, is so she's like, like this like person's me. attacking me. This person's I don't attacking have me. Bad to say about her. I got I, the main thing I was. Do. I feel like she feels safer now. <laughs> She probably doesn't like to think that who gave her the gun, but she has. You it. gave it's, a person that behaves. It's not like a this, real. Like gun? It's not a real gun. It shoots pellets, but it shoots pellets that pop. It's like a self defense. And they numb. Gun. They knock the person down. And stop but them if you from don't act attacking. like this, you don't need to defend yourself that much. I don't yes. know about that. It seems like crazy dudes are out there a lot lately. They are, but like I, I worry for all women from the stories I've heard recently, mm-hmm. where dudes are just like, "What's up?" And if you don't. Like acknowledge it with something polite, they will like harass you, where and is then this? follow you where you go, like Venice and stuff. Yeah, well, no, Venice. What? Yeah, Venice yeah. has homeless people roller skating with machetes, just slicing people as they skate. Well, by. I thought if I could make a call and get and she could shoot a guy with a pellet, then you're like you know what I mean, mm-hmm. you're welcome. You know, is it in your name? No, it's not no. illegal. It's not a. It's not a real gun. Okay, you're allowed to carry it in Los Angeles. Like I got it all checked out. Oh, for okay. Her. Yeah. All right. She can use it to be safe. Okay. Hopefully. Mm-hmm. My job is done. But, okay. Just I want on. one of these. I can get you one. Really? Yep. I would love to get you one because yeah. after it, you would still like me. <laughs> <laughs> that would be quite a treat. I do. I like that. One time a guy bought me a rifle. I was very into it. Yeah. I can get you. A, it looks, the best thing about it is it looks like a total real it Solves gun. half your problems. And if, if you, you pull you... it out, mm-hmm. and like if I, if I was like, hey lady, and you were like, Hey man, I'd be like, oh shit, I'm out of here. <laughs> I wouldn't be, be like, like, great, I can kill I you with like, your gun. I would be like, does that have any bullets? <laughs> I don't think it's a good idea to say that to someone that pulls a gun. <laughs> so you just you just get out of there. But if you didn't get out of there, like yeah. you were a drug addict or something, and you mm-hmm. went crazy, bop bop bop, and he will stop. <laughs> he won't die. You don't have to worry about killing him. Yeah, he will stop. Yep, yep, yep. I thought it was when I found out about. It, I thought I was like, every woman should like get one for their 18th birthday or something because. I just Please think don't that, I make think, that a law. <laughs> I just think it'd be better uh, where like the guys out there that do that stuff. I hope you get shot in the face with it. Mm. You know what I mean? Like I really don't care. I hope you lose an eye, you know, because that's like somebody's daughter or something, and you're just such a pile of shit for doing that, and you're making me look bad, you know. And I'm trying to go out there and be like, hey, I'm a man, you know. And then you go like trying to finger chicks at the supermarket and make me look like a piece of shit, and no one's gonna date me, dickhead. You Is know? that how you op- flirt with women? Hey, I'm a man. <laughs> no, no. I That's usually... verbatim his Tinder profile. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm a man. Yeah. No, I usually start with I'm a woman. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Work my way up. How are know? the apps doing? Not good. Yeah. Mm. It's okay. I keep trying to get on the rich famous person one, but they won't let me on. It's so stupid. You don't Is need it? to be on there. It's all like graphic designers who live in Copenhagen. Oh, wow. It's, you don't need to be on there. It's not good news. I can't think of anything worse than a graphic designer. <laughs> oh, that, <laughs> like, seriously, that is the most unattractive. Like a Nazi. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. no. An Ikea son of a bitch. Like, shut up. <laughs> yeah, I have dinner is ready. Like, shut up, you bastard. Yeah, yeah it's um, it's not great at the All moment. Right. Oh, okay. You're missing nothing. Wait, so you're on there. I like pop on there every now and then just to That's see what's good. On there, then. It'd pop in and out. And you also have to pay. You look at like 12 profiles and then they make you pay $7.99. Yeah, that's right. To look at seven more guys in V-necks who live in <laughs> Nashville. Maybe, that, maybe that's why I'm not allowed on there. They're like, nah, this guy is yeah. very far away from V-neck. Yeah, it's like it's a lot of chain wallets these days. Oh. A lot of man buns. A lot of black. Yeah, a lot what are you guys of, doing not having me on there? Mix it up. A lot of black and white photos. A lot oh. of guys with a black and white oh, photo. Oh, like modeling photos? Kind you of. Freaking kook. I know. It's a bummer. Be real, kooks. <laughs> Come on. Do you ever ask people to set you up? Nah. I feel like that's the way to do it. Are you, one off- time are you I- offering? Do you have somebody in mind? 
as soon as I said it, I was like, "This is gonna be tough." But yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's like it's like you really, you really, if you really like the other person, is it really fair to be like, "Hey, no, I know this guy." No, because I feel like you need someone to be very attract, like very hot, like hot. Like they have to look like a model. They have to be hilarious. That's not they have to be true. a lot of different things. They have to be cute. <laughs> you don't have to be a model. <laughs> Just like traditionally stunning. <laughs> I didn't say it. Just like classically beautiful. What? <laughs> like I'm still pretty hot. I don't. I think it should just be. You're like, a stud. I think you're think a total be, stud. I always even, say that. At least even. You know. I always say that. And I get picky, so I gotta aim high so that. As you should. I don't want to be like, oh man. As you should. I don't like that bit. Why you wouldn't know? you? Yeah. That's, so that's what. That's yeah. That's what I actually do. might have an amazing person. I actually think I have an incredible. Do they person. just have a special? <laughs> can I should I just show you a picture but you can't show the crowd or the audience? Sure. I've got to laugh regardless. You this is a good one. Wait, it's a recognizable person? Uh I mean no, but but Oh shit. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's amazing. Okay. God, yeah. Did you look in your photos for that person or did you Google them? Like if people are into people with full body, like tat girls with tattoos everywhere, can you ever go back? Yeah, you can totally go back. Really? Yeah, I would totally do that. And I feel she's, like guys she I black? know. Is she black? No, she's not black. All right. She's something else besides white? She's like Swedish. Oh, but wow. something and like Egyptian or something. God. Yeah. Damn. That's it. That's it for you. That'll do. Mm-hmm. I mean that went with it. That's but like way, once you've dated with like or slept with girls, it doesn't with mean anything. I I can tell you that my type, if I had one for girls, uh-huh. is black girls and girls with a lot of tattoos. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that I haven't found several untattooed, not black chicks where I was like, oh my god, I would move in with you tomorrow. Like if you were. Not a psychopath. I, you know I mean, like, where sure. do I sign up? Sure, because like I feel like a couple guys I've dated have dated girls with like thigh tattoos, and it might, I'm insecure that I don't. I'm like, Ugh. no way. Don't, don't you feel no. like I feel like you're supposed to outgrow types? I feel like when you're a teenager, you're like yeah. really into Morrissey, and you really yeah. want to date this yep. one. Person. Yeah, you're right, Michael. Because I think I do like that type. But to me, yeah, that's unfortunate. But to me, tattooed girls. Mostly, depending on the tattoos as well, and you can tell by the style. Oh, it's a great point. Are more free, as in they don't answer to because they can't get employed. Maybe, but they don't answer to anybody in the bedroom. There's more of a like a fuck everything. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, I'm gonna yeah. let it go. I don't care what I look like from this angle or any other angle. Right. I'm getting it done. And some people are a little bit more uptight and takes a little longer for them to loosen up. And to me, yeah, it was always... Yeah, because you can see my cellulite. I haven't covered you know, it I, with, shut, a, with a statue shut of up. Mary. I've analyzed it more than you have. I don't have a bunch it's, of roses coming covering my cottage crap. cheese thighs. I know somebody that has all head to toe completely scaled, and she's all about it. And I just don't... It doesn't work. It's, it didn't, it's not... So it's not the tattoos. It's, mm. it's who you are. You know? Like, I don't... This, I've had I've met people before. Where I'm like, you're not my style. Mm. We look weird together. <laughs> but it, the, but funny. the way she looked was something that I was really attracted to. In the end, it turned out where we were like, a lot more opposite than it than I than I thought. But I, I would have I would have dated her. Like I need like lips to match. What's wrong with yours? No, I just mean like if I see people with like different sized lips, I'm like, how does this work? Yeah, yeah. I, I feel sorry really... for little lip people. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm like, you're not. You're probably not a very good kisser. <laughs> You know, you go little little ones. Probably gonna bump teeth or something. I'm like, man, can you like pretend you've got big ones and kind of, you mean I'll suck on a sock for a couple minutes before you make out with me? Like get those things to come out a little bit. I like that we look weird together. It's very funny. Yeah, but also if it's a weird look that's awesome, Mm -hmm. then it's more. I just want somebody that's like, yeah, you know. Have you ever dated a girl who's taller than you? Yeah. Yeah, I liked it. I dated a trans girl that was taller than me, obviously. Oh, but yeah. I've I dated a girl before where I love you said obviously. <laughs> I dated a girl <laughs> that, that's happened. They had a bigger dick than me too. That was crazy. Oh, that must be a wild moment. <laughs> yeah, it was super surprising. And it got hard. <laughs> and it got hard. And I was like, nah. It gets hard and I was like, I gotta try it. And it was like really difficult. Whoa, yeah. that's but so that's really where the anal fissures came from. Who what? No, I didn't get that far. Oh, yeah, but it was like, it was hard to do things with. 
Uh -huh. Like you had to do both things differently. But you guys don't get UTIs. No, that's oh. not true. You do now. Oh, really? Yeah, there's a new one that uh, all porn people have to get tested for, MGEM. So I get tested for that and STDs because it's an STI that can turn into an STD. But they no, don't UTI, test. urinary UTI. tract. Sorry, UTI. Yeah. I've gotten UTIs. Oh, yeah, I guess you can. Yeah, you can. Guys, but not from big. Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. But you can. From a different thing. Yeah, but now there's like a thing out yeah. there that's like in the porn world. So now we all have to test for this extra thing and it costs extra money. And some places don't do it yet. And it's like yeah. this thing where it's like, okay, I see your test, but I do, are you tested for MGM? And they go, what? And, and and people have said, not working with you. Yeah. Because you can't work with anybody else yeah. after it because they weren't tested for it. I know. I and it's not, it doesn't, you can't feel it in a guy. You can only feel it in a girl because it turns into that infection. A friend of mine, um, she got chlamydia yeah. and there's like a new strain of it. I don't know. And she went to the doctor uh, and she was like, is there something I do? She, the doctor said, I don't, I don't think this is, I, I would say this is malpractice. He went, ah, everyone has it now. I'm like, that's not a statistic. Like no. he just like brushed it Yeah, but it you got to give me stuff to make it go away. Yeah, she had to get something burned. Yeah. Oh, Whoa. wow. She got a real bad one. Like sc scraped or burned off. Yeah. It, it was like, I, I, I've retired from, cause you can do, you can get away with, well, I shouldn't is say that. Is there a that. medication you can take? Oh yeah, but oh. it's just like I to me I got it, I got it too many times, and I just was like, it's I can't even the people that say they got tested if they don't if you can't see the test you may as well just take it as they have something. So oh, I just that's don't, a good point. I just don't. But just I can't do it, it with is anybody. It painful or is it like a? If you get if you don't get it taken care of straight away, because if you don't know what it is, maybe you'll write maybe you'll write it out for a day or two, and then yeah, it gets real bad. Ay. But if you catch it. You go get the shot, take antibiotics, ah. and, it, and it'll go away before it flares up. But if it flares up, it's the worst thing ever. And isn't that what uh, Michael Douglas, how he got his throat cancer? He said it was I chlamydia. I believe him. No. Uh, I mean, it's a lot of cunnilingus. What? Is it? Was it? That's what he said. I think he said it was. But no, I, know, I, know, yeah. I know what you're doing because I feel like. No, HPV. His was HPV. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. HPV that got in his throat and then he got cancer from it. Oh, okay. But if you. Tended to a quicker, he wouldn't have got. It would have been. It would have been fine. Unclear. Check no, your throat. I think Unclear. isn't that, isn't the deal that there's a vaccine? So future generations, this will be like uh, mm. polio to them. I did get oh. that. I oh. did by some miracle. I used to sell T-shirts at Buffalo Exchange when I was broke in L.A. And I got. I went to some urgent care for something else, and they were like, "Oh, did you get the HPV vaccine?" I was like, "I don't know what that is." I paid cash, two fifty cash. To get three shots, you have to get it before you're 27, though. Exactly. That's Wait, right. We've all aged out. I got it the yeah. other day. Huh. The HPV vaccine? Yeah. Really? Uh, I'm sure they I mean, not one. the other day, but like a year ago. Oh, okay. That's Maybe two years ago. ago. I'm pretty oh, my God. You are a comic. So the other day, everything happened the other day. Oh, yeah. It, well, also, yeah. I, I'm a comic that hits his head a lot. Mm -hmm. So it is. it was the other day. You still hit your head? Uh, I've been doing pretty good. Like, I don't fight anymore. So I don't let anybody punch me in the head. Mm -hmm. But I still skateboard. And I've been pretty good lately because I've been trying more and being there more regular, so I'm a little less dangerous. But that doesn't mean that ain't coming again. Are you taking any like supplements, like fish oil and stuff like that? Uh, no, I'm on testosterone replacement and peptides, and I eat good. They're outlawed now. Where are you getting them? Same person. Yeah, but they're running out. I thought. Yeah, but I they, mean, I they, send, they send me a couple of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey, you're not the only favorite over there. <laughs> <laughs> you, you got some apex life yeah, a little something something yeah, maybe, maybe it's that yeah <laughs> might have whacked it into my booty this morning i did by the way just when i was in the bathroom i took off my nad patch from my thigh nad oh yeah, yeah oh yeah. wow and see that never worked for me really i did the 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 needle the drip the, the, I the, hate drip. the drip man I hate that was i'm mm -hmm. that was the worst thing ever i got called oh you're doing the drip Carl Kingsbury did it in one hour or in, or nope. in like 15 minutes. And I'm like, what does that mean? It's like, he pushes it in faster. And I'm like, well, then do that. No. And this then is straight it. So away. You guys that are listening, NAD, it's a, it's a supplement you can take orally, but there's a way to do it as a drip also. The drip is so uncomfortable. Yeah, and it makes me, you no, like super nauseous. Yeah. And the more the faster he puts it in, the more nauseous No, it's it like you can't even explain it. It's like someone's has, doing a steamroller <laughs> over your body. Like, it's the most horrible feeling. I tried to do it fast. It is like I, I think I beat Katie by like half an hour, but but Kyle Kingsbury was doing it in a, you know, where I was like, that's not even possible. Rogan what does it you? in like 45 minutes. He's an animal. 
Right. Uh, yeah. Kyle Kingsbury's on in the record books for it. Oh, sorry. I don't know who that is. He's right. a retired UFC fighter. Oh, nice. Sorry. Okay, fine. Yeah, who's all about that stuff. Yes. Um, but I started doing the patch, and the patch I really like. So you don't feel I any nausea works. or anything? It's just casual? No, it's just a patch you put on. You know, it's like that sticker, and yeah. then you pull the little thing, and it just goes through your skin. Do you skin. feel anything? I feel like more energy. Oh, wow. Yeah. I want that. I think it works. Okay. Yeah. Ask our guy. Yeah. NAD patch. But I also take them orally, too. I take oral NAD at a man. On, but on top of the patch? Mm-hmm. Because it, cause it helps that much? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, I, I don't that. know. Even if it doesn't, it's worth a shot. Yeah. We're Fish done. oil, by the way, I believe has been pretty thoroughly debunked. Really? Yeah. Cod liver? You got to eat fish. You can't. D-H-E-A? The omegas? Uh, no, if that's real, but you need to get it. You know, you get gotta, it, fish. As they say, you can't take vitamins. You got to eat your vitamins. But doesn't fish have mercury in it? So that means almost, the pills do too. Only almost all of it. But yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> what a nightmare. <laughs> Placebo effect is an effect. Yeah, it is. And, and that's the reason to keep taking yeah. vitamins. <laughs> Yeah. It's like I'm a shitty Superman. <laughs> I but think I'm doing better, so it's working. Green drinks work, right? Oh, dude, I had one this morning. I'm on fire. What yeah, is I'm it? running what on drinks? It. Green drinks. Oh, like green juice? Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like a vitamin. I'm doing vitamin D works. Hell the yeah. Sun? <laughs> or is this a dick joke? I'm confused. Yeah. Yeah, no. Uh, a good dick and it'll get you go, get through oral the day. Oral vitamin D. Oral D. Uh-huh. Oral D. Sunny D? Sunny D. <laughs> <laughs> that is what good for you. What happened to Sunny D? I know, right? I think Sunny D is probably doing doing well in like the 99 cent store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I fucked with Sunny D hard, hard. Yeah, yeah, I love that too. They didn't have that in Australia. When I came here, I was like, yeah. you guys, you got it all figured out over here, you know? Yeah. More sugar. <laughs> what was I thinking? Orange juice, but with more sugar. Is the food healthy over there? Like, it, like, like. You know, like in Scandinavia, it's like the vending machines have smoothies and it's super healthy. Is it super healthy over there? I mean, we copied America over the last two decades, mm-hmm. but I don't think it's ever got like we don't eat fast food as much as you guys do. Mm-hmm. People still make home cooked meals a lot more. Oh, okay. Seems like that anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's when I was there. I haven't been there for a long time. So. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure because you have so much grazing land. Probably the meat. There's no way the meat isn't better. There's no incentive but for them like- to, to factory farm the way they do like for example when i was in ireland with my family there's a a a a law that any beef that's sold there they need to say what farm it's from which sounds so hippy dippy but it's also very practical on a really tiny island nation that's covered with grass that constantly replenishes itself so everywhere you go you have this super healthy grass-fed beef because that's kind of all they had anyway and that's by the way that's the i guess more like the regulations actually like in australia like the stuff is doesn't have antibiotics in it and doesn't have you yeah. know bill gates's appeal apple cover i'm sure they're on their way to everybody's either as gnarly as us or on their way um ireland doesn't have snakes i heard that is uh, by legend, true mm-hmm. that Saint Patrick drove them out. Oh, I just thought there's no way for them to get there because it's an island. Too. That's the actual reason why there weren't oh. any there, but Christianity took that and ran with it and said our patron saint drove them out. Ooh. There may have even been oh. a flute involved. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> but I think by now everybody's got everything. You know, like South Carolina, I saw they got some crazy like small mammal eating uh, reptiles are totally invasive and all over South Carolina. They're not from there. They're like Asian, but people get them as plant as uh, pets and then they get loose. And yeah. I think everybody's kind of got everything now. I like your vibe. Thank you. I feel like everyone's kind of got everything now. It's kind of boring. Like it's a I good feel like, point. <laughs> you know, well, like I was saying to Dan Cummins when he was the other, he was here the other day, he was saying he's thinking about moving to New Orleans. And one of the things I like about New Orleans is when I'm there, I don't feel like I'm everywhere else. Oh uh, yeah, I love New Orleans. You know, I feel like regionality is just it kind does. Of yeah, going you're away. in Creole. Yeah, they do have their own food. It does feel like you're in another country. Too much. Yeah. They have flavored vodkas after their own foods. Like they made king cake and then they made king cake flavored vodka. Love it. Yeah. I don't really want to go anywhere anymore, but I watched the ex- <laughs> YouTubers. The ex- <laughs> the Equalizer three. <laughs> and the Equalizer three, you know, he gets shot in like this little town in Italy and he's dying and then this cop finds him and he like gets raised he gets taken care of in this little town and he becomes like a fan of the people in the town, the way they operate, and he's like, you know what? This is where I live. And then just so happened there were some bad guys there and he has to fuck them up. Because that's how you know he equalized the situation. That's what he does. <laughs> As he does. He cannot help that. Yeah. But now that he's equalized the situation, he just lives in this he didn't move back to America. He mm-hmm. lives there. 
and he learns how to speak the language. And I was like, I can do that. When my kids are older, they won't. They don't want to. They don't want to. They won't want to see me. You like, can equalize. I could equalize. I believe that because I would love to kill bad people, man. I like. I could deal with that. It's arguably your calling. If your you had calling. like a pass, someone was like, "You get to kill someone, and you won't go to jail." He's already dead. Oh. Oh no. About number two. No, I got another one. All right. So oh. we've got. <laughs> so I thought one... it was going to be like. Vladimir Putin. I thought it was going to be like someone like like Jared Fogel from Subway. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, if you, Larry Nasser. If you wanted me to, I'd dust that guy. No, 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 no. Yeah. I think it's like somebody at Zangu Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> like, <what's, laughs> really? He just thought of a waitress at Saddle Ranch. Exactly. Yeah. Whoa, another lady. <laughs> Man. <laughs> but now you mention it. No. <laughs> All right. Thanks for being on the show. You got my shoes, Whitney. What do you mean? The, I got those exact shoes. They're good, right? Yeah, we could go on hikes together and we could have the matching shoes on and shit. I, I'm not going to wear off-white sneakers on a hike. Are you insane? Like, I mean, a hike down Melrose. Oh, okay. I'm not going on a hike. <laughs> Fucking hills. What the hell, man? How many hills I've already climbed? Oh, no, let me do another one on my day off. What the hell? Yeah, let me give me a back and out of me for, on a Sunday and I don't do know, some usually yoga. Usually sober guys are like, want to go for a hike? And you're like, all right. Oh, no, I just realized oh, that's what's going to happen. Just got sober. I oh, hang out with God. Toby. Toby's going to be all <laughs> over me once I get completely sober and we are hiking. Oh, God. Oh, my go. God. I'm going to be so energized to see a punk show. <laughs> I just love what these guys are talking about, man. Straight edge, you know? Like, get that poison away from me. You're gonna be Let's doing, go for a hike. You're going to be doing those beach raves yeah. where everybody's listening to the it's same music in the headphones. <laughs> me and Chappelle Lacey and Toby, we don't like it. We don't like alcohol. I give I, you two weeks to go keto. Usually when someone's like, I just want I'm keto, keto, I'm like, they're like, I've been keto two weeks. I'm like, sober three weeks? Keto gives you bad breath, and I want to make out with ladies, so mm. not not risking that. Mm. You notice that? Um, Meat breath. Okay. It's not cool. You haven't noticed it. Without all the douchey really. boyfriends you dated, you, you didn't get any meat breath. <laughs> hey, I'm surviving. Whitney. You know, if we lived in a cave, you'd be fine with me. <laughs> well, that <laughs> Let me show you how I swing a kettlebell. <laughs> like, hell yeah, this is a great evening. Can't wait to take your dumb ass to dinner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did um, go out with a guy once who brought his own protein powder in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> and did he watch. at least snort it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Then I would have respected that would have been him. So much hotter, right? Yeah, and I watched him like empty it into a thing, and then he uh, had a little machine that uh, went like. Oh, uh, he brought a mixer. <laughs> oh, no. He brought a mixer stick. A mixer, you stick. dickhead. Who brings <laughs> a mix, <laughs> mixer <laughs> stick? Because to- it's also like. Yeah, no, he like he it. loves pressing that button. Yeah. Do you know how smart he feels every time he presses that button? Whoosh. Yeah. Not only am I brawn, I'm also brains. Like, you suck dog's nuts. I'm so curious. I know we got to go, but do you think that he just, he thought that was going to impress you on some weird level? Hell or do you yeah. think he just could not live for any length of time without pressing? He was like, you think you're pretty smart. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Take because, a look at me. Because if you bring your own powder and item, you have to then have like a per, like a fanny pack. Like yeah. there's so much. Oh wait, oh yeah. Did you have a fanny pack that fit the <laughs> mixing well, stick? It was like a, it was like a jacket with like a big pocket, oh. and it was like Mary Poppins. He just kept pulling out more oh, and more. No and shit. And he then- had so much stuff in there. He could work out for a week on that bag alone, <laughs> like a vegan yeah. meth lab yeah. in there. Yeah. I think. I think he just. He was just like, oh, I'm on this thing and like, just I'm not going to order the meat because it's not a complete protein. So I'll just do this. Like, it was very matter of fact. It was not a sweatpants on at the dinner. It was I think it was like a cargo pant that was like that came to the. Uh, the Wait, this is a one time (laughs) deal, right? This wasn't a reg. I feel like he had like a Capri cargo. Did he see you more than one time? (laughs) No. No. Oh my god! <laughs> I really have a chance, Michael. Yeah, yeah. Look, people don't ask out female comedians. It's the I will never bring protein to dinner. <laughs> that is insane. I think he was probably also wearing a tank top and a scarf. Like, there's probably so many other things here that <laughs> again on the list. He didn't of give two... you any of those signs before you saw him. <laughs> this was a very long time ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. You would date someone way less dumber now. Well, I also used to kind of just go on dates and be like, ah, oh, I'll get a joke out of it, if nothing else. Uh, I thought you said a choke out of it. <laughs> well, that, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a one joke be, out of it. One should be so lucky. Yeah. I, I had an experience the other day where the lady said something so grotesque and insulting to the planet 
that I remember thinking, well, I'm not doing this, but at least this is a story. Like, yeah. I'm going to turn this into comedy. It's already a radio bit without me even saying any punchline. It's just a wow story. Yeah. That's what's so great about comedy. Every time something bad happens to you, you're you can like, like yeah. yeah, you're like, yes, I have a new. I used to think that in radio. Like, mm-hmm. where it'd be like, uh, do you want to do this? I mean, not really, but worst case scenario, it's going to be a story. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I yeah. could have done without that story. But I'll make it a joke. You'll see. Yeah. Whitney, thanks for being on my sh- my small you. little show. I appreciate you coming what this way. What do you wave. mean? What a dream! So I pregnant. Like, I feel it's like insane. I get weirdly like protective over you, and I never want to be too rough with you. And then I feel like I get kind of boring around you. I didn't think you were boring. I always think you can I'm be boring. rough with me if you want. No, I don't. No, I don't want to be. Oh, all right. But if you wanted to, you could be. You're like pregnant whore, and I'm like I just don't want to hurt your feelings. Yeah, well, I don't know why. I, I, you can't say what what are you, what have you got trapped in there that's gonna break me? <laughs> like if you knew the things I yeah, wanted okay, to say. Okay, I don't want to hear any of it. <laughs> Change my mind. That's not it. That's Check not out it. Whitney's new special. It's out right now on OnlyFans TV, right? OF dot TV you slash see. Whitney. It's easy free. free. And it's super funny and super easy to watch. I'm trying to get Jason to do one too. I'm gonna work on a special. Don't hold your breath, you guys. See you guys <laughs> next week. If you want to see more Jason L show. Uh, patreon.com slash alice mate thank you I love you don't die